We're out in the shop tonight because we're cutting the end off of that oxygen cylinder I hope to use as a lock powder cannon. Now in order to prepare it for this, what I did is I took the valve out and then I dropped lit matches down inside until it stopped puffing at me. Now obviously that's not true. I just took the valve out and left it outside for two days on a windy day. It's perfectly fine on an oxygen cylinder. It, it, that's going to be, you know, hunky-dory. If it was anything more explosive, an acetylene, propane, usually I fill them up to the top with water. Can't be any gas left after that. Here, I'm going to cut the base of it off so that I can use the base of it in another project. I think it's kind of a cool shape. Don't know what we're going to do with it yet, but it, it's too cool to pass up. So I'm going to cut it off about five inches up. Basically, I shoved it in and clamped it down. Where it stopped, it stopped. So well, let's get the Ellis running, get the end of this thing cut off, and get out of here. That's what the inside of one of them looks like. Makes a great noise. Let's get the rest of it out. They ring a lot better with the bottoms cut out. Well, that's the idea. Anyways, it's... You know, it's depressingly thin. But then they say this, this steel is just phenomenal. And this was one of the high-pressure metal tanks rather than one of the high-pressure aluminum tanks. Maybe I'll find something that'll slip down over. So it gave me two really cool pieces to work with. This, which is just neat. That's a very neat shape. I don't know what to do with it yet, but it's pretty cool. And then this one. A lot of brass left over in the threads. But that's what I want to turn into 
that miniature little cannon. And I'll probably have to find something that we can obviously slip over and, and reinforce this portion. Plug the end of it with a fuse hole. Now I definitely think that'll be pretty darn cool. Shoot softballs or something. It'll be neat.